hear about that email that got out of jail? Oh yes, I heard he's on parole. I read it in the telegrams. Did you? I did. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's you know really good for him. I know. I think good. he's really going to turn his good life around. Wait. wait. Oh. oh. Hello! Come in there! Hi! Didn't see you! Oh, well, pull up a seat! Yeah, Get come on! Cup. Come on over! Um, today we're here um, to, you know, spill some. We're gonna uh, spill a little tea today! A little tea! Yeah! You're welcome! <laughs> What's up, guys? Mo and Meg here again. And we're back this week to spill some tea on we're each other. We're spilling tea. We're spilling it all over. So this week, we've got some tea. We're going to be telling some stories about each other. Uh, Mo and I have been friends for a very long time, and we have some extremely <laughs> embarrassing stories. It's going to be a great time. Are you ready? I hope so. Love a nice chamomile. Like the green. Very nice though. Yeah, great. Yeah, nice time. So I'm gonna be going first, telling my embarrassing story about Megan. What story is it? I'm gonna be telling a little bit, a little Christmas time story. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if, it, if it's what I think it is, I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, it is what you think. All right, let's rewind back to Christmas time in fourth grade. <laughs> So around this time, the Polar Express was coming out into theaters, and our teacher and our whole class was so excited about this movie to come out. So the entire quarter was all dedicated, basically, to the Polar Express. That is true. Like, we had the board game. We had a board game got... that we were allowed to play at free time. Like, yeah. we, oh, we obviously read the book. We did a whole project on the book, and this book barely had any words. Like, I know, we did an entire project was on was mostly it. pictures. Like, I don't know how. She she was just really into it. She was really into it, and yeah. we all obviously got into it when your teacher's excited about something. Yeah. So we knew that our field trip to the movie was going to be coming up, so we went all as a class, and we sat and watched the movie, we all loved it and enjoyed it, and some of us loved it a little more than others. So after our class saw it, Megan and her family also went to see it in IMAX, which was pretty new to our town, I'd say, wouldn't you say? We didn't even have it here yet, like we had we to didn't, go. Yeah, to, we had to go to a different IMAX We had theater. to go to the Whitaker Center. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even have an IMAX theater here, like, we were very behind the times in our town. It was a haul to get there, and it was a big deal if your family was going to the IMAX yeah, theater. Yeah, like, it was huge if you got to go to the IMAX yeah. theater. So, Megan and her family went to the IMAX theater to see the Polar Express, and Megan loved the movie, especially the part where the hero boy puts the bell up to his ear and, and rings it, and he can't hear it, and he's so upset because he thinks that his believing in Santa is over. No! <laughs> I gotta keep spilling! Oh god, I was the worst. <laughs> so Megan had a bell at home similar to the one in the movie. So at this point, Megan still believed in Santa, right? Okay. <laughs> I didn't stop believing in Santa until I was in like fifth or sixth grade, and Which, it was because I found all the presents in my attic. Like, Which is fine. It's fine, you know. Child at heart, it's great. Yeah. No, loved Santa. Loved Santa. Love a good Kris Kringle. <laughs> Kris Kringle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so Megan went home and she got this bell, like the one in the movie, and she held it by the bell, which you're not supposed to do. It's not gonna work if you hold it by the actual bell. So Megan held it by the bell, which we now know today that you can't, you won't be able to hear it. So Megan held it by the bell, put it up to her ear, and didn't hear anything when she shook it. So obviously being a young child, still believing in Santa, got extremely upset and went to her dad. <laughs> okay, he held it the wrong way and said that he could hear it. Okay, so this obviously made Megan even more upset. Like, why can't I hear this bell? Like, I believe in Santa. So he takes the bell in hand, holding it the, like the wrong way, and is like, Meg, I can hear this bell. Like, he was got so, like, he was just feeding into it so much. He's like, Meg, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So Megan decided to go into her room lock the door, turn off all the lights, and sit in the middle of her room and take the bell really close to herself and whispered, I believe. <laughs> tears running down her face. And it still, it still didn't work. So Megan picks up the bell by the string 
to put it on one of the posts of her bed and the bell works and then you're all excited again. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> I believe. It's I believe it works. So that Santa knows. Santa knows I believe and I'm getting good presents for Christmas. I like went and told my whole family like walking around with the bell like swinging it by the string. Like not, I was just like, I believe. Can you hear this bell? Cause I can. Cause I can. I was the absolute worst kid. Like. <laughs> I, I was, like, the amount of, like, embarrassing stories that people have on me yeah. is atrocious. Mo wasn't that bad. I wasn't that bad. But I have a really good one. But Megan has a really good one. And I'm not happy about it. <sighs> Let's spill this tea. Mm. It is windy out it there. It is, though. Like, I feel like the house is gonna come down. Mmm. Okay, it's this. We were in white. <coughs> we were in white. I can talk. Hold on, let me see. Can you? <laughs> so, Mo and I were in second grade at the time. I'm going over to Mo's house for like a play date, if you want to, like, call it a play date, whatever you want to call it. I'm going over to Mo's house, and one thing you need to know about young Mo was she was extremely competitive. <laughs> like, so competitive to the point, like, she got aggressive. And it was just it so was just bad. so just know that going into the store. I remember we were playing outside, just doing normal second grader things, okay? Later in the day, Mo had another friend come over that lived like in the same neighborhood, right? Uh like the neighbor neighborhood over, so okay. really close. Yeah, she lived in the neighborhood over, whatever. Her name was Lexi. So now it's Mo, Lexi, and I. We're hanging out. We go in the basement of Mo's house and down there is all board games. So we're looking through the board games and stuff, and I picked the game. Don't Wake Up Daddy because I remember seeing it on TV and I was like, oh my gosh, I have never played this game. I don't have this at my house. I really want to play. And everyone was cool with it. I could tell Mo was a little like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like she, but I think you were just being nice because like I was the guest. You were the guest to my house. So. I was the guest. So, you know, she let me pick the game. So if you guys have never played the game Don't Wake Up Daddy, basically it's a board game and the premise of the game is that you want to get your player across the board over to the fridge for a midnight snack, right? Yeah. So in the center of the, of the board, there's like the dad laying in a bed and there's a button on the dad's bed that you have to press. So depending, like, let's say you land on a space that says five, you have to press that button five times. And you just, you don't want to wake him up because if the dad pops up out of his bed, you have you, to go back to the start. You have to go back to the very start of the game. Oh. It sounds really simple, but it is really frustrating, okay? Mo keeps landing on, like, <laughs> 10. Yeah, like really high numbers. Really high numbers. And like even when she's landing on the small ones, she keeps having to go back to the beginning. I'm so mad. We played this game probably like we played like a good four or five rounds of this game and Mo was losing every single time. And he like I said, Mo is very competitive and she gets really angry. Finally, like Mo is about to make it to the end. It was the last of That's right. That's you, right. She was like three away and she was ahead of everybody. And she presses the button and the dad wakes up <laughs> and she has to go back. Mo picks up the entire board game and just throws it against the wall. It's like, starts yelling at me, she's like, Megan, why did you pick this game? You know I hate this game! <laughs> Meanwhile, while Mo is crying and yelling and getting all angry, her friend Lexi is sitting there terrified. She's sitting there and she's like, Oh my gosh, like, I don't, like, I think I should go home. Like, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna call my dad to go home. And I'm sitting there and what am I doing as a really good friend? Laughing at her. It's like, Stop laughing at me! <laughs> <laughs> I think Mo was about this close to like throwing me against the wall because I was literally <laughs> on the ground pointing and laughing at her going, Mo, it's just a game! Yeah, it's a game, Mo. His dad came downstairs and was like, Maureen, and she was like, oh, I hate this game! And he knew, yeah, he knew how I played it with my dad too, and the same thing kept happening with me with my I played with my dad. I kept losing. So yeah, after that, I'm pretty sure your family just got rid of that board game. We did, I got rid of it right after. It was, uh, that was a golden story. That's like yeah. one of my favorite memories of Mo, besides the fact she wanted to be a jockey in kindergarten. <laughs> I still gotta find that book! <laughs> That's enough tea for today, guys. That's enough tea spillage for today. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of Mo and I telling embarrassing stories about one another, they can get a lot worse. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll have my vlog channel linked down below, so be sure to go and subscribe to that. I'll probably be posting a new one 
soon hopefully I do kind of like compilations of the week so you'll kind of see me throughout the entire week so if you guys want to go see that please check it out subscribe show me some love yep definitely check out Mo's vlog channel and I guess that's all we have for that's today all we have. hopefully we made you laugh and yeah even made you cringe a little bit I don't know I'm <laughs> sweating I'm sweating on that note that's all we have for today so we will see you guys next Friday, Friday. If you just